Hi, I'm Renee, and in today's video, I want to share with you some of my very favorite arm exercises that help get rid of the bat wing flabby underarms. Yes, and you know, I think that there's a big misperception that the only way to get rid of those is by using weights. And yes, you can definitely do it with weights, but here's the great news. You don't have to. Actually, I really prefer using muscle activation to really tighten and tone my arms because I have a body type that when I use weights, I tend to bulk up. I actually get big and bulky from weights. Now, not all women do, but a lot of us do, even those of us who are Yep, over 50. So I like body weight. But the thing with body weight is you have to really learn how to extend your stretch and really use muscle activation. So let me show you a couple of my absolute favorites. They're super simple to do. You can do this. So get up and do them with me. First of all, I like to stand, I'm kind of in a, like a little bit of a plie position because you want to make sure that you're really stretching up, decompressing your spine. I have my legs out and if you find that this starts to bother your lower back a little bit, you want to do just a little bit of a knee bend. You want to pull your belly button in, tuck your tail, and just really think to stretch up from there. Now, I want you to bring your arms straight out from your shoulders. Now, here is not straight out from your shoulders, right? You want them right out so that your wrist and your elbow and your shoulders are in alignment. And now, I want you to press your fingertips up to the ceiling. So you really feel like if you had a wall on either side of your arms, you're making sure that that wall does not come in towards the center of your body. Now, before you start the exercise, I want you to take a big inhale, hunch your shoulders up by your ears. Inhale, exhale, press the shoulders down and press your arms out. Now, I'm going to get a little closer to the camera because I want you to see the difference in muscle activation. So here's when I'm not really pressing through the palms of my hands. I'm just here, okay? And you can do this because we're going to go up and down. Now, notice when I really press my arms out to the side as much as possible, pulling my belly button in, ribs are up. Now, I'm going to feel like somebody is pushing or having a big weight right here on my bicep and I'm going to use my muscle activation to press just to here and I'm going to bring it back to the shoulders and I'm really pressing away the walls to here. Reach out to the sides even more. That's your muscle activation. Down and you can see because I have not used weights in probably 18 or 19 years that I can make sure I don't have any of the bat wing wavy flabby arms underneath. But just doing this with muscle activation is amazing. You can see what it's doing to my arms, right? Now, heart rate's going up. I'm gonna start to get a little bit out of, out of breath. Now take it down a little further and back. A little further, ribs up. You don't have to go any more than that. A little further, good work. Now bring it right to the shoulder again. Here's the second thing you wanna do. Pull back. Almost like you have rubber bands on. Pull back, pull back. Press your shoulder down first and pull back. So you can't go as far. Shoulder down, pull back. Can you see what's happening with my triceps or that little bat wing wavy thing underneath? See how it's tightening up. You can rotate it forward. You can rotate it back almost like you're wringing it out by a towel. Here's another thing you can do. Are you ready for this? Fingertips to the front. Pull back. That feels really odd. I'm just going to tell you, but it works beautifully. You're working those muscles from all the different angles. Okay, shake it out. Woo, the shakeout's going to feel really good. And I like to really kind of pull one shoulder up and the other and rotate on your spine. Get that whole big stretch as you come out. All right. Here's another series that is super great for the wavy thing bat wings. All right, ready? You're in that plie position. Pull the belly button in and up. Ribs are up. In other words, stretch up. If you have a cleavage here, you pull your string. Arms down. Now, can you see I'm going to step back slightly. I want you to now pull your hands up so that the palms of your hands are parallel to the floor. Then pull them back. 
and here's the move I'm gonna go over to the side so you can see notice how I'm pulling up out of the spine I'm not sinking back you want to pull up arms are straight no bend at the elbow parallel fingers I'll go back just a little bit all right now press your shoulders down and pull those arms out and bring them back in pull them out keep your fingertips trying to touch your legs pull them out back in you almost want to feel like you're squeezing between the shoulder blades pull it out we do these in class and everybody is just groaning by the end but it makes beautiful arms you can feel them even up at that top back part of the arm that's so hard to ever get then once you're done with that you're going to take your fingers and you're going to pull them to the back okay can you see what i'm doing your fingertips are touching each other in the back Press them towards each other. Press them towards each other. Do a few more of those. Woo! And one more time. Give a shake out. So you can see how just doing these simple, simple movements, but with real muscle activation, really think about what you're doing with your shoulders, standing up tall out of the spine, you absolutely can tighten and tone and get rid of the bat wing arms. So that's today's tip. I hope that you'll try it. Do these, come back, leave a comment here, either on my Facebook page or on my YouTube channel or on my blog or somewhere. I'd love to know how they're working for you. Thanks so much and you have a fabulous, weighty, free day. Take good care.